Hello, my name is Rochelle David, and all my life I've filled my mind with these grand romantic love stories like Pride and Prejudice or Walk to Remember, and I developed this very warped and naive idea of what love is. Uh, <laughs> I would imagine my future boyfriend chasing after me to a crowded airport and professing his love to me and proposing to me. So needless to say, I was really excited to start dating as a kid. But I have four older siblings and more cousins I could count who are significantly older than me. And they have always seen me as little Cell Cell. And so it doesn't even cross their mind or it doesn't even register to them that I will have a boyfriend and eventually a husband or that someone could like me in that way. Then they don't mean it to be rude, but they just picture me as that little girl who was super clumsy and gangly. And I've come to accept that fact, uh, that no matter how old I get, they'll always see me as the baby of the family and that I could be eight years old and my sister will still nag me to go get her charger from her room or a glass of water from the kitchen late at night. But like many younger siblings, there was a time I was trying to escape that mold and title they were putting me in and just live my own life. Uh, it was around the time that I was graduate graduating, or rather, I was supposed to graduate high school during 2020. But instead of the amazing senior year I was expecting to get, COVID came along and just threw those ideas out the window. And while I graduated on paper, it was still pretty devastating to me because I've seen my older siblings and my cousins all go to UNLV for their graduation and see them get ready for prom and just experience all these things that I never did. And so while the whole world was in, de was in pain, it still hurt close to home knowing that I didn't get what I expected to especially since it was out of my control. And so to make up for the lost time, I still try to hung, hang out with my friends as much as possible while still being COVID safe. And like the hopeless romantic I am, I tried my hand at dating. And like any other socially awkward, freshly 18 year old, I downloaded Tinder. Despite the reputation that Tinder had, I thought to myself, I'm smart, I'm mature for my age, I'll see any red flag coming from like miles away, nothing bad will happen. <sighs> Couldn't guess where this story was going. I got hurt. A lot. <laughs> but it wasn't the fact that I was getting hurt that was like... The most painful it was the fact that i wasn't being responsible like i would skip classes and just ignore my homework completely just to go on dates i would sneak out at night and lie for these guys who didn't really care about me or the consequences i was gonna face because it didn't matter to them and obviously my behavior didn't go unnoticed but thankfully it wasn't my parents who noticed it was my sister and my sister is only three years older than me, so she knew exactly what was going on. And we had a talk that I just really, really needed. My sister's a definitely a tough love type of person, and I do not open up emotionally, so you can only imagine what was said during that conversation. But essentially, she told me I didn't need to have these big summer romances that you always see in Netflix movies. And all those guys, they weren't deserving of my time or effort, let alone my love. And that the only person I should give that much attention to is myself. And I shouldn't rush to grow up because these things, they get easier and better when you're actually old enough to understand them when you're like 20 or 23. And while this may seem small, it was a big moment for me. Not just because it was like a reality check, but my sister and I were never close growing up and she never really gave me advice, especially when it came to boys. So this was a pivotal moment in our relationship together. And she made me realize, and not only that, she made me realize that love isn't this crazy thing that's going to happen overnight. So with her advice, I focused on school and started becoming an adult and living the life I wanted to. And I actually met someone 
who is deserving of my love. And no, we did not meet through Tinder. Thank you.